Good sir, have you ever thought that maybe Minecraft just doesn't get difficult enough as time goes by? That maybe you, you want a better challenge, one where maybe the drowns get really difficult? Then have we got the data pack for you! Hello again, Spookbook here, and today in our data pack showcase, what do we have? Well, I have come across a very interesting data pack, which it fills a need I didn't realize I had until I read about it. And then I'm like, yeah, that's something I've actually kind of wondered about since I've been starting to play Minecraft. This is Drowned Improve Over Time by Nice1007. I don't know. And basically, this makes the drowned get more difficult as time goes by now if you look at you know the f3 menu a lot of times it talks about the difficulty of the game so if you look on the left hand side of the screen it says local difficulty 1.51 and over time that's supposed to be increasing getting more difficult but it never really seems to get more difficult but this drowned improve over time which is only one in a series of data packs made by nice it makes them actually get stronger and more difficult to, you know, defeat. And how does it do that? Well, slowly, over time, their health increases, their melee damage increases, their movement speed increases, their chance of having a trident increases, and they get armor and armor toughness over time increasing. So... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Drowned Spawn Egg, and I have installed another data pack so that we can see what their health is like. So if I put this guy here, we give him a little punch, as you can see, that's taking him down by a half of one of those bars every single time. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get ourselves a nice axe and do some real damage to him. There we go. So, let if we go from a regular one, so three hits basically will take him down no problem. So let's take a look at what they're like after, oh, let's say 25 days, which there's a nice little function for that right there. That has now made me have 25 days of experience in this data pack. And now the cool thing about this data pack also is... If you're on a multiplayer server, it's different for everybody on the server, depending on how long you've actually played there. Obviously, in a single-player world, it's only going to be for you. But if a drowned is within 32 blocks of a player... Oh, look at that. He got a trident. Uh, then, Oh, and he got a trident, too. Look at that. Just after 25 days, their chance of getting a trident got that much higher. Uh, so... If I've been playing on a server for 50 in-game days, and another person has only played for like 10, then I'm going to have a chance of, or I'm going to get stronger mobs around me than someone else. Because it's not fair that they should be getting the same level as I am. So now let's take a look. It's still about three hits. Oh, but he's got gold armor on now. That's, ooh, boy. He's got gold armor. Do you have any armor? Yeah, you've got gold boots too. So you get a little bit more armor as day 25 comes along. Now, now let's check it out. And if we go to day 50. So day 50. That's a baby. Oh, look at all that armor. Let's get a, an adult here. So he's got leather armor that he's wearing. Uh, that one got a trident. That one did not. Now let's see. Oh, look at that health. Look at that health. Ooh, I'm doing eight hearts of damage, and he's taking, what, six hits? Diamond. Ooh, look at this. He's I didn't realize that he's got diamond boots on along with his leather. So that's 9, 17, 25, 33, 41. He had, like, 50 health. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Now... Oh, this is going to get crazy. On day 70, we're going to go to day 75, but on day 70, the Drowned also get Death Striders, so they'll be able to move faster through the water. Oh, and they got a turtle helmet and diamond boots. Oh, boy. Yeah, look at this. I'm doing 7 and 8 damage now. Wow. 
so much stronger. Yeah, can you imagine playing with this data pack as you are in the world? Oh, but I did get his turtle shell, which is kind of nice. The longer you play in the world, the more difficult they're going to be. Now, I do know, and we're going to check it out, that once you get to level 100, day 100, that one caps out the difficulty. They don't get any harder than level 100. But they have a 100% chance of spawning with a trident so let's go ahead and change it to day 100 oh boy oh boy yeah those are enchanted diamond boots oh <gasps> dude look at the speed okay we're gonna we're gonna show what it's like when i oh my goodness they've got like speed 10 going on here yeah that's that's dangerous right there that that right there will kill you and that's an enchanted trident oh look how much health he has wow oh this just scares me now is he gonna drop his trident nope he didn't drop his trident i got his troll shell Whew. but an enchanted trident with enchanted diamond boots with the speed that he's got Oh man, alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into survival and see, you know, at first let's give ourselves some general netherite armor, and not any protection or anything, put that on, and see how quickly he can, did I really not get it? crab le leggings, there we go, we'll get that, uh, now let's see how fast he can kill us if we jump into survival, now it's daytime, he's not gonna come after me until I get in the water, hopefully, Wow, he's fast. All right, survival mode. He's not going to come after me. Oh, boy. I'm going to step back over here. All right, I'm in the water. How bad is that trident? Okay, he missed that one. Okay, trident's not horrible. It knocked me down a little bit. Ow. Okay, so if I've got netherite, I should be okay. But he's pretty fast. now. All right, he's only worrying about the trident, which is kind of nice. The trident's bad, because if you get into a whole pack of these things, it's going to take you down. But at least he's not completely destroying me. By day 100, you should be able to have diamond armor and netherite and be able to survive against him. <laughs> but obviously, right now, I do not. That's survival. I don't want survival. I want creative. So, that is how the data pack works. And like I said, this is only one of a series which I'll probably be going over more of them in the future, but this is really cool. Like I said before, Minecraft really doesn't get harder over time. It just seems to, you know, you can fight the, uh, you can fight the Ender Dragon, you can fight the Wither, but the mobs themselves generally don't get that bad, and there's no real fear when going out into the world. I like this data pack. This is a great data pack, and if you want a bit more of a challenge, highly encourage you to check it out. If you want to, a link to the Planet Minecraft page will be down in the description. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, turn on those notifications. You can follow me on Twitter. That guy was doing a dance as he went down in the water. Uh, turn on those notifications. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord channel. I hope to see you guys in the next Data Pack Showcase. Until next time!